Hello and welcome to this video. Today I will try to explain to you some new laws on electric energy and what can we learn if you decide this to be your major. One of such laws is the Piot Savart law, and I will gonna demonstrate you the applications in solving real world problems. The magnetic field uh, lines of the current. The magnetic field lines around the long wire which carries an electric current, form concentric circles around the wire. The direction of the magnetic field is perpendicular to the wire and is in the direction of the fingers of your right hand would curl if you wrap them around the wire with your thumb in the direction of the current, as shown on these pictures. The magnetic field of an infinitely long straight wire can be obtained by applying Ampere's law. The expression for the magnetic field is stated on this picture and the unit is in Teslas. I stands for current, R stands for the distance from the wire and my zero is the permeability of the free space. As we can see in this equation, the longer the distance from the wire in which we want to calculate the magnetic field, the weaker the field will be. Even Earth has its own magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field is also known by the geomagnetic field and is the magnetic field that extends from Earth's interior where it meets the solar wind, a stream of charged particle particles emanating from the Sun. Its magnitude at the Earth's surface ranges from 25 to 65 microteslas, or 0.5 Gauss. Magnets have their own invisible field around them. As you can see on this video, we can discover how the lines of the, of the magnet's magnetic field look like. If we place enough metal objects near magnet, they will form a structure based on magnet's movement. And if we place the magnet in the center, as the result it will form exactly the lines of the magnet's magnetic field. As you can see, as a result, the lines form a loop structure going out of the one pole and returning on the top of other pole. Magnetic field waves accompany electric field waves. They are always perpendicular to the electric field waves and it is based, uh, it is based one of the basic concepts in electrical machines. So if we place a loop of uh, wire uh, and we place a, a magnet the magnetic field lines in combination with the loop wire will gonna produce electricity and we can light a light bulb. Biot Savart law is especially especially uh, important for electromagnetism. This is an uh, equation describing the magnetic field generated by an electric current. It relates the magnetic field to the mag magnitude, direction, length and proximity of the electric current. The law is valid in the magnetic approximation and is cons consistent with both Ampere's circular laws and Gauss' law for magnetism. It is named after Jean-Baptiste Piot and Félix Savart, who discovered this relationship in 1820. The Piot-Savart law is useful for computed resultant magnetic field P at a position R, generated by a steady current I, for example due to a wire. A continual flow of charges which is constant in time and the change neither accumulates nor depletes at any point. The law is a physical example 
of a line integral being evaluated at the path C included the current's flow. The equation is in SI units. Some of the applications of bias average law are for different geometries, uh, such as center of the current loop. We can calculate the magnetic field, the intensity of magnetic field at the center, or for example, on an axis of the current loop. Or we can find at any position around the finite straight wire. Bias over law, one of the examples for his usage is in solving um, intensity of the magnetic field for our mobile phone transmitters and cell towers on buildings. We can calculate the safe distance at which we can place these transmitters so that it doesn't affect the people that are going uh, under those towers. There are other many applications of Barrett Sauvert's law. This is just one example in solving real world problems. Thank you.